Hello and welcome! If you are starting to use ShareDemo templates and want an easy introduction, you are in the right place. In this video, we'll show you how to add shared email templates to your Outlook, sign up, invite colleagues, and create teams, ensuring you have all the details you need for a smooth setup. So, let's get started! To install shared email templates from AppSource, go to the Microsoft AppSource website. Once you are there, enter Shared Email Templates into the search box and select the add-in. Then click the Get It Now button on the app's detail page. You may be prompted to sign in with your Microsoft account. After signing in, review the permissions required by the app and then click Get It Now. To find the Shared Email Templates add-in, if you are using Outlook Desktop, click on any email message and look for the AbleBees group in the ribbon. Then select Shared Email Templates. If you want to have the add-in open each time you need it, simply pin it. For users of the new Outlook, you can click the Apps icon on the action bar of the email message. Then select Shared Email Templates. To create an account in Shared Email Templates, you can either sign up with an email or use a work or school Microsoft account. When signing up with an email, you can use any email address to create an account, and you will create a new password specifically for shared email templates. On the other hand, signing up with Microsoft requires a Microsoft Work or School account, and you will use your existing Microsoft credentials and password. To create an account with your email address, just click Sign up on the add-in pane and then select Sign up with email. Fill in all the fields, such as account name, your name, and a username. Enter your preferred email address, which can be any email, not necessarily associated with Microsoft. Select the geographic location for your data. To continue, you need to accept the Terms of Use and Privacy policy, and then click the Sign Up button. That's it! Your account is ready! If you want to create an account with your Microsoft Work or School account, Click Sign up on the add-in pane and then select Sign up with Microsoft. Choose the Microsoft Work or School account you want to use for shared email templates. Accept the permissions requested by the add-in. Check your account name, this could be the name of your company or team, and choose the region where your data will be stored. Read and accept the terms of use and privacy policy. Finally, click the Sign up button. Great! As an admin, you can manage your account by clicking the three dots in the lower right corner of the add-in pane and selecting Manage Account. This will open the Shared Email Templates app in your default browser. In the Manage Account tab, you'll find account details showing the account name, data region, subscriptions, users, and admin list. Quick action buttons let you create new user accounts, import users, create new teams, manage teams, and manage subscriptions. To make your account safer, it is recommended to add at least one more admin. To edit the account details, select Edit Account. To delete the account, click Close Account. Remember that deleting your account will permanently delete user accounts, teams, and templates with no way to recover the data. When clicking on the Users section, you'll see a list of all users, and the Teams section shows details on team members and their roles. To create a user account for a company or team account created via email, click New User on the Manage Account tab. The User section opens along with a sidebar form that you need to fill out. Then you assign a subscription key to the user by clicking the Subscription Key box and selecting a key from the list. To add the user to a team, just click Add to Team Select the team and row, user or editor, and click Add. Finally, click the Create button. You can also import users from Azure Active Directory. To do this, open the More menu on the Shared Email Templates pane and select the Manage Account option. This will open the Shared Email Templates app in your default browser. Choose the Import Users from Azure Active Directory option. You'll need to sign in to your Microsoft Work or School account, after which you'll see a list of your colleagues. Select the colleagues you want to add to your account and click the Import button. The colleagues you added 
will receive an invitation email from the AbleBit support team. The invitation will include links to detailed instructions on how to install and open the add-in. To create a new team, on the Manage Account tab in the Add-in app, select New Team, then enter the name of the new team. You also have the option to add a description of the team. Once you're ready, click Save. If you want to create a password-protected team, follow a similar process. On the Manage Account tab, click New Team. Enter the team's name and optionally add a description. To protect the team's templates with end-to-end -end encryption, create a password for the team. Pay attention that only you know this password, and it is your responsibility to provide the password to team members. Finally, click Save. To add team members, first select the team and click Add Users. Choose the users you want to join the team, assign their roles as either User or Editor, and then click the Add button. Users can only use the templates in the team, while editors can create new templates and edit existing ones. If you have a work or school Microsoft account, you can also import users from Azure Active Directory into your team. To add another admin to your account, click the Add Administrator button on the Manage Account tab in the Account Details section and select the person whom you want to grant admin rights. To make the most of shared email templates, we recommend to create a shared folder in OneDrive or SharePoint for attachments, pictures, and datasets that you'll use in your templates. So let me show you how to create a shared folder in OneDrive for that purpose. First, sign in to your OneDrive with your Microsoft account. To create a new folder, click on the Add New button located in the top left corner of the screen. Select Folder from the drop-down menu, give your folder a name, and then click Create. Next, if you need to upload files, open the necessary folder and drag and drop the files from your computer into the folder. To share the folder, right-click it and select Share. A dialog will appear where you can enter the email addresses and names of the people you want to share the folder with. Set permissions to allow others to either edit the files or to view them. To use the files in shared email templates, view permission is all that's needed. If you give permission to edit, you are responsible for the integrity of the files. You can also click on Copy link to get a shareable link that you can send to others manually. Finally, click Send to share the folder. Such a folder can be created for each team. Although you can create shared folders in both OneDrive and SharePoint, SharePoint is the better option. It ensures that the files remain accessible to the team even if a team member leaves or loses access to the account. Once your trial has expired, you can subscribe to shared email templates by clicking Buy Subscription on the Manage Account tab. The shared email templates for Outlook page will open, where you can choose the subscription plan you need. After selecting your subscription plan, click the Subscribe button. You'll be directed to the order page where you can specify the number of subscription needed and select your payment method. That's it! Thanks for watching this video! Enjoy your shared email templates!